Hey everybody, this is So Heidi, and this tutorial is part of a bigger four-part series about drawing fashion flats in Illustrator. The technique I'm going to show you here is copying path segments. So I've got the body of my garment drawn, but I want to draw the sleeves as separate shapes so I can control the color or the pattern within that portion separately. A lot of us know that if we grab the direct selection tool, we can copy individual anchor points. So if I copy this anchor point, what I get is I get the anchor point I copied as well as the two anchor points to either side of it. That's not exactly what I want. All I want is this portion of the path. So what a lot of people don't know is I can copy a path segment. I just click on the path that I want to copy, which is just this path in between these two anchor points, and I copy it, Command or Control C, and I paste it in front, Command or Control F. What that does is it pastes it exactly on top of where I copied it from. I then grab my pen tool and I connect to that path and I draw the rest of my sleeve. So now I've got a sleeve and the path lines up perfectly with my body. I'll then come in, draw my stitching, a little bit big, so we'll drop that down to a half a point. I can take this and reflect it across the center front to create the other sleeve. And so now both of my sleeves line up perfectly. One of the downfalls to this is that if you decide later you want to change the curvature of the armhole seam, you wind up having two paths that you have to manipulate. And it can be a little bit tough. It's almost worth it to just recopy and paste that line segment. So it's a great technique. It creates really tidy artwork where the paths and seams line up perfectly, but it doesn't allow a lot of flexibility for manipulating the style lines later. Go ahead and watch the three other tutorials and choose which trick works best for your needs. Thanks for watching. This is So Heidi.